it's Tamara Zoner here. It's Wednesday and I'm inviting you to take five minutes for you. Just five minutes. Today, let's talk about self-trust. Now, a lot of people will say that they don't have time for things. And I say that they don't make time for the things that matter the most to them, for the things that could be, would be, or maybe should be a priority for them, and that is time for themselves, time for you, right? Uh, it's easier that way. If we don't have time, then we can't disappoint ourselves by not doing what we say we're going to do. If we say we just can't do it because we don't have time, then we don't set an expectation only to break it. What does this have to do with self-trust? Well, the way that we behave and show up in the world for ourselves and for others develops trust and respect for ourselves. If I say, you know how like the New Year's coming up, right? So ooh, I'm gonna set a New Year's resolution and then three days later, I'm not going to do it anymore. Even if I say I don't care, inside my body is discord and dissonance and I care. Our brain cares, our body cares, our soul cares, our spirit cares, our heart cares because we have committed to something and then broken that commitment. If a friend promises to help you with something and then at the last minute they say, sorry, can't, we feel hurt, right? Even if it's a really good reason, we still feel this internal disappointment and this, oh man, we do that for ourselves too. So it's so vital that we keep our word to ourselves. And that's why I say, take five minutes for you, just five minutes. I don't care who it is or how busy they are. If it's a mom with a brand new baby, if it's the president of the United States, every person on this earth has the same amount of time each day. It's what we do with it and how we do with it that makes the difference in whether we feel like we have time or we don't have time. You can't just make up time, but you can make time. And you are important in your life. I tell you this every Monday and pretty much every time I see you or you see me. You are important, so treat yourself that way. You deserve at least five minutes of your time to rest or meditate or play a game on your phone or journal or write gratitude or take a walk or sing or play another instrument that you love or phone a friend. Five minutes. What? would you feel good about committing to for just five minutes a day? Excuse me. What could you commit to for just five minutes a day? I started a couple of years ago with yoga. I committed to doing yoga every single day, but I started small because I wanted to be able to stay committed to those five minutes. And so sometimes I did longer and sometimes uh, I didn't. Five minutes a day was what I committed to. And eventually when I kept showing up for myself, that commitment morphed into a devotion to myself. I said I was going to do something. I showed up and I did it. I continued to do it. And what did that do for me? It built trust in myself. When we do what we say we're going to do, we build trust. Trust develops into respect, and respect, my friend, develops into love. What could you commit to for just five minutes a day?
And if you have excuses as to why you can't, write them down. Leave them here. I'd love to read your comments and I appreciate your time. I appreciate you taking five minutes with me this Wednesday. And I look forward to speaking to you again very soon. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you. Can you look in the mirror and say those same words to yourself? A little challenge for you at the end of this Wednesday Weekly. I'm Tamara Zoner. I'll see you again soon. Create yourself a beautiful day.